What's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to talk about why I am excited about the up and coming Galaxy S22 Ultra. The Galaxy Note is back, baby. It's just rocking a new name, but it's still a note. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Now, if you were hip and on to the tech hemisphere, you saw <laughs> Unbox Therapy's dummy unit video. Clean, high quality video footage showing this beautiful s22 ultra and if you even saw before that john prosser leaked real images of the real phone from that point we have seen the direction that they're going with the galaxy note and the most exciting thing to me is that this resembles one of the best galaxy note designs which was the note 10 plus unfortunately i don't have my note 10 plus anymore i traded it in when getting this uh, Z Fold 3, but I do still have my Note 20 Ultra. We're looking at a possible release in the end of January or February, which is more typical. The rumor is saying like a February 9th uh, release and pre-order for like a February, I think 25th actual release. Wait, nah, 25th, yeah, yeah, February 25th. Possible like real release and things like that. These are just the rumors. This is what we're hearing, but we're getting close, baby. It's about to be Samsung season all over again, and I'm here for it. <laughs> now, when it comes to this S22 Ultra, there's been a bunch of rumors and speculations around the color selection. A lot of the solid rumors are hitting on black, which is a phantom black, the phantom white, a green and a burgundy and hopefully the red samsung please give us your premium ultra devices in red on launch day in the u.s when it comes to all of the other features around this s22 ultra from the rumors we, everything is speculation right now but you know we're looking for the typical nice 6.8 inch amoled 120 hertz you know <laughs> that 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 good display that switches up and down it better be you know what i mean okay so another leak around the display is record breaking nits brightness this is supposed to be one of the brightest displays we've ever seen possibly i mean they talking numbers up into 1750 nits of brightness now on the reserve or the conservative side, shall I say, we probably will tailor out around 1500 nits, but if they decide to break records, then bring it on Samsung, 1700 nits it could possibly be. Now, if we wanna talk about, you know, some of the features that will not be there, I mean, the SD card slot, the micro SD card slot is gone, you guys. Let's just let that go. Let's no longer have to call that a con, or shall we continue to? We'll see when I do the review. You guys know I'm picking one up, baby, because we have our S Pen in the body of a smartphone back, baby. The Note is back. I don't know why they're branding in S22 Ultra. You know, those Ultra lines and Note lines been fighting in the same area for the longest. Um, it still should have had the Note name, though. I'm just saying. Okay, so now when it comes to cameras, I mean, you guys have seen the leaks of the camera housing. Samsung has done it again, a beautifully designed camera. <laughs> Is it even a bump? Somebody tell me, I don't see a bump. Beautifully designed camera housing. This is phenomenal. We got a lot of cameras, you know what I mean? We got this 108 megapixel, you know, what we've had in the previous, the wide angle, but they're supposed to be featuring this new glass on it, this clear view glass, this gorilla glass on it and so forth. Hopefully it offers something more to the Samsung picture taking experience. Looking forward to it. And then we're gonna get two telephoto lenses. I believe one possibly would be like the Periscope telephoto lens, which to me is my favorite telephoto lens. And then another telephoto lens and they might combine together and do something crazy. We shall see, we'll wait to the keynote, you know what I mean? And then we get in our typical ultra wide and our front facing 40 megapixel selfie camera, which is one of my favorite selfie cameras, I must admit. And then let's round it off with battery. It's rumored at 5,000 milliamp hours I mean, we've seen this on the previous S21 Ultra. We didn't get it in the Note, <laughs> Note 20 Ultra. I didn't understand that, but we're supposed to get it now. And this is the Note that we have always wanted. This is why I am excited. This is why I'm looking forward to it. And the design honestly gets me the most excited because this reminds me of the Note 10 Plus. And this is Samsung taking heed to what people saw as one of the best, if not the best design Galaxy Note device and bringing it back just under the name S22 Ultra. What's up with that? 